What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Apologies uh, for the abrupt end to the stream for those of you guys here for the Black Desert stream. I uh, messed up my back pretty bad and I literally was not able to walk. Uh, like I couldn't even stand up for like the whole day. So I finally was able to make it to my chair. So bear with me now, i got a lot of content to catch up on. Um, I know I'm a little late, later than usual. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. Fasten your safety belts. There's a lot of content to go over today. Hopefully, you know, we're cool. Even though I was sitting in the chair, I got my back support ready to go. And uh, let's go ahead and dive on in, guys. So, hello, Ayers. This is GM Dom. No, we're not going to read read this verbatim. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff going on. We got an epic pass. We got Tenebria's new skin. No exclusive equipment, although I thought that there was going to be... Uh, because we haven't had any in a while, but uh, there's a lot of other stuff that's going to be coming. I didn't anticipate Epic Pass happening, although I should have thought about that, though, because it's almost the first day of spring. Uh, March 19th is the first day of spring, and it didn't even register. I wasn't even thinking about that. So, Epic Pass, we got Seven Mysteries uh, 2020 season. Okay, and then there's also obviously Little Queen Charlotte for this. And for those of you guys who built regular Charlotte, there's, they're also offering a recall for regular Charlotte. Uh, I heard about this being in the mix, but I didn't know if it was for sure. So I was kind of on the fence about it, but it actually is an official thing. So Arena Determination Season is open. You guys can see the frames here and stuff like that. You guys can see the Endurance Crest uh, that you guys can gain you know, for achieving rank. And for those of you guys who are curious as to what gear we're going to get, it's going to be Destruction Set, y'all. And the Destruction gear looks pretty goddamn good, man. I mean, I have to say that looking at this gear, this is pretty probably the easiest no-brainer gear that I've seen out of most of the arena gear because a lot of times when we get arena gear it was really like wishy-washy or like kind of all over the place but this crit damage set is pretty straightforward you're this is probably the first season set that I would say you're going to get every single piece without even thinking about it like every legit every single piece here is awesome like some of these rolls aren't max you know don't get me wrong here um but the combination of stats is good like obviously you guys are hoping to dodge the effect resistance but like this looks like um this is going to be pretty much a no-brainer however you spin this so what I advise for you guys who are starting the game out, make sure that you guys, uh, if you guys are not doing arena or you guys aren't PvP friendly, still try to get your gear. You guys can do this by going into your sanctuary, setting your little mission so you get conquest points. You can start stacking conquest points to get this gear. You're, you're going to want to get this gear legit for somebody period all right make sure you guys get it so epic pass you know same deal here a uh, bunch of stuff you got the schoolgirl tenebria skin i know a lot of you guys you know, that are into the whole waifu thing you guys are definitely gonna be hype about this uh this is actually a lot better than the bizarre skin gotta say but definitely cool looking skin if you guys have been saving your skin points definitely do that i wouldn't be surprised if they offered a skin pack for my pay to win people out there and uh this is how you guys are going to get your epic pass obviously energy spent um arena flag spent abyss token spent lab token spent equates to points as you collect these points you unlock different ranks and you get different rewards that you guys can see here um obviously you guys get the transmit stone the golden transmit stones that you guys got with those so go ahead and do that go ahead and get your school girl to near phantom school girl to nebria skin and then you guys can move on from there now as we get into the meat and potatoes of this guy's little queen charlotte is coming and uh i think that she's gonna be very strong so we're gonna have to wait and see i'm nowhere near ml pity i know a lot of my buddies uh they're very close to pity so they're gonna be pulling it real quick and like two sums ten sums you know etc i'm hoping to get her quick um i guess this is my my cue to stop being lazy and do abyss so i can get the extra 500 mystic summons uh but i've been free to play for a little while i th i might have to change that for charlotte just because uh, she's a beast and listen guys i was super duper stubborn i wanted regular charlotte to work so bad but she just didn't all right she just didn't so i feel like this is now my opportunity this is my this is going to be the redeeming quality and it's going to allow me to actually put charlotte in the team comps that i actually want to use so as we go through this guys you guys already know what her kit is we've talked about this quite a bit of times um there's also going to be a double banner looks like tenebria drop rate up and vivian drop rate up now, I'd imagine they're going to blitz us pretty hard with duplicate banners and filler banners. But like I told you guys uh, recently, uh, a couple days ago, and I was like, look, y'all probably want to save. Okay? Yes. You probably want to save. 
unless it's again a hero that comes out that is just a no-brainer you just have to get again if they bring like bring like Loena or Ray or something then you know like let's say Ray is almost OP as he was when you fought him as a boss right then obviously that's going to be a no-brainer right because the utility is just absolutely insane but outside of like the no-brainer must summon heroes you guys are definitely going to hard save especially if there's not any limited banners up until the point that I'm going to make that video and tell you guys it's time to go all in okay because that day is coming Okay, I won't be able to tell you when, but that day, that day is coming, right? So we got Raid Labyrinth, uh, Hell Difficulty is going to be coming out. Uh, so as you guys know, you're going to be able to do one boss a week. And after you clear the boss, a portal will unlock where from now on, you can just literally teleport to the boss. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be super duper, super duper excited to check out a lot of these bosses or the new bosses, play with the new mechanics, test new teams and stuff. It's going to be a ton of content for content creators and stuff to put out for those of you guys who are curious as to, you know, getting into raid. If you guys are not in raid yet, it's probably because you're A, trying to build too many heroes, B, focusing on dungeons that don't really matter, golem. Okay, <laughs> but I will get your women 11 team unlock, especially with 12 and 13 coming soon. Uh, so you guys can get yourself into raid as soon as possible. Once you guys get into raid, crush normal, get into hell. Uh, by that time, uh, the guides and stuff and all that other jazz will be out to help you transition into the raid bosses a lot easier. So as you guys know, your first time clear on the hell bosses. So you guys want to make sure you do all your hell bosses. Uh, first time clear, you guys get a free piece of 88 gear. Um, that's super random, varies, and how it rolls is ultimately going to determine and how that gear is going to perform. They're having a Hall of Trials update where they're updating a bunch of different things. They're adding a ranking system and a bunch of different stuff to you know give you some incentive. As you guys can see here, ranking one to three gets 100 of these. It goes all the way down to 80 to 100% because there's actually extra stuff you get uh, for ranking rewards on top of whatever you guys get as well. They're also going to be introducing some Alchemist Steeple improvements. Uh, also, uh, on top of the Alchemist Steeple improvements, outside of the UI improvements and stuff, guys, I forgot to mention this with the Hall of Trials Im improvement. They're also going to be introducing a new artifact that you can buy with your Hall of Trials currency, which we'll get into here in a little bit. But the Alchemist Steeple got improved, and it's just a lot of quality of life stuff that they're just kind of adding, fine-tuning, and tweaking to really help uh, organizing, you know, your equipment, you know, especially after they already made it towards easier to do the fusion gear you know this is just something that's you know going to be coming along the way that i think it's just going to make a lot of our lives easier they're also making managed equipment improvements which now you can select substats you can sort by substats which will make it which will make it a lot easier to go through your gear and ensure that the best gear that you have in your box is ending up on the heroes that you want it to end up on so now being able to sort by gear long lost i think are the days where you're going to have that endless equipment just sitting in your box just kind of hanging out chilling right so now you can get your gear where it needs to be and hopefully this will help your guys progression a lot because listen i got a ton of gear and like i have so much gear like there's gear that i probably have in my box that i completely forgot about that i probably need to roll uh so for me personally this is going to be very 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 helpful uh, they got filter and sorting settings uh they got the whole nine so you guys can do this um as i mentioned before they're doing a charlotte recall so this is going to be available from 319 to 42 uh, coincidentally the same date is the Genshin Impact beta, except it's going until the 7th, all right? So if you guys are in the Genshin Impact beta, y'all need to hit me up because I'm trying to play with y'all. But anyway, neither here nor there. Recall eligibility. How recall works, guys, is if you have a six-star Charlotte like me, I'm going to go ahead and recall mine, get all the resources back, all of them. And I have, like, two more dupe Charlottes as well. So listen, listen, with my three or four Charlottes, however many I have right now, after if, if, and when I pull this ML Charlotte, yo, she about to be six-star real quick real quick all right so with that like i said you'll get everything back all the catalysts invested everything X xp yada 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 your character will return to level one and that's it and then you can decide what you want to do with that character if you want to keep one just in case they decide to buff her again because remind you it took them a bunch of times to get ken you know to where he is now these days but you know you never know they might uh decide that <laughs> She's actually worth, they want to make her worth a damn instead of just making her even worse than she was before. So uh, we got the grade, uh, let's see, okay, yeah, they're just going over the stuff here. There's some other improvements and fixes. Uh, they added sophisticated magnet basar, speak of the devil, uh, to the skin shop if you guys want to buy that. And Cruel Mischief is the artifact that I was talking about that you guys are actually able to buy uh, with your actual currency that you guys get from the Hall of Trials. So big thing here, guys, um, this increases damage dealt and Hall of Trials by up to 30%. So this could be very, very helpful if for those of you guys who are trying
trying to fudge Hall of Trials so you guys can maximize your damage output. For those of you guys who are trying to claim the, climb the ranking scheme and maximize your damage, I think this is going to be helpful. Uh, even more so if you're lazy and you just want to get the extra 30% damage so you can get your score and then just move on with your life. This guy. So uh, definitely check out Cruel Mischief. I think it's definitely worth getting, uh, potentially even maxing out, especially if there's no exclusive equipment that you guys need to buy. Uh, again, I was thinking that they were going to do exclusive equipment today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So with that being said, there's some other changes. So illustrations missing in episode two will be added. All right. Equipment obtained from Goblin Gate will be improved. Let's go. And newly added equipment will be obtainable in episode two and unrecorded history. So the side stories. So they're going to be updating all that stuff, guys. Um, so it looks like 51 to 80 equipment here for episode two and beyond. And uh, just some slight changes here for episode one, you know. But you know, this doesn't look like that big of a deal, right? Who cares? Level 44 equipment cares, right? Because uh, you guys will probably be rolling in the, the free gear that you get from the Adventurer's Path and the Arena gear anyway, okay? They're also going to be adjusting Kalric, the order that he does his abilities on auto. I think this is going to be a really good change. Uh, some skill description stuff for some other heroes and some other miscellaneous things. Uh, and there was an issue where dragons might use by weapons hunt one through ten ignored effects of the skill butcher corpse gear. Uh, who the hell uses butcher corpse? Who cares? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so there's some other typos, some omitted text, uh, and some other stuff that you guys can look over on your own. Um, some quality of life stuff here with the quantity being purchased by bulk function. But again, I'll post this link in the description box, and you guys can go through all the fine print on your own. I just wanted to take a little bit of time and go over all like the major points and changes of this update because it's a lot of information but I don't want to you know just read it line by line for you guys for 45 minutes when you guys can get the gist of it um, you know kind of like a brief summary and I think how it's going to affect your guys' gameplay as you go through this so again guys make sure you guys save go ham for Little Queen Charlotte or if you guys are being safe uh, wait two weeks for Little Queen Charlotte right before you start summoning because then we'll find out who the new ML4 is going to be and then from there um, then you guys can decide to go ham gives you a little bit more time to save mystic bookmarks and stuff like that and then you guys would be good to go so anyway guys that's all i wanted to cover today thank you guys so much for tuning in again apologies for the abrupt ending on the stream last night my back is still kind of because uh, yo you guys should have seen it i literally had to like go back to my military days and like low crawl across the floor just to go to the bathroom man because i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't get up couldn't turn over couldn't do nothing it was it sucked all right so anyway love y'all man appreciate y'all you know tuning in to yet another video and uh we'll see you guys in the next one Peace.